You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're doing a recap of SmackDown Live from October 10th. Yeah. So this was a good show. It was pretty good. Yeah. 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 Better better than most SmackDown Lives. Yeah. yeah and so. uh, we kind of weren't sure what we were going to expect after the pay-per-view. Well, yeah, because there was a few things left wide open. Yeah, and there's so much time until Survivor Series, so... That is also true, which is probably the biggest thing that's working against them right now. Ah, uh, yeah. So, over a month. Mm-hmm. But surprisingly enough, we uh, open the show with the Usos. Yeah, we both were expecting Kevin Owens to come out yeah. at first. Mm-hmm. But that did not happen, so, obviously. They come out and basically say they have the tag division on lock, and then they... Talked about the Hell in a Cell match and that the the stories are true, that once you go, come out of Hell in a Cell, you're a changed person. Mm-hmm. And so they call the New Day out. New Day comes out. And yeah. They actually give them props. And- well, first, when the New Day was coming out, Big E and uh, Xavier Woods were selling their <laughs> match from last night and yes. Kofi skipping around, around them, them <laughs> which was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, they go to the ring. And then uh, the Usos, like you said, they give them props. Mm -hmm. They say that they're the best tag teams on SmackDown, and they are the tag division. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what they pretty much are just saying is they respect. Yeah, they basically said, you know, they were the only, you know, they were suffering after the match, and the only other people who knew what they were going through was was the New Day. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like you said, nothing but respect for them. And uh, apparently they want a trousseau's yes, or whatever. Truce. They... <laughs> truce. Or... Yeah. Um, yeah. So after after they, I guess, I don't know, show each other respect, yeah. that's when the hype that's bros come out. Um, and then Mojo says that uh, just, just because you guys are the only one showcased every week doesn't mean that you're the best in right. the division. And um, uh, and then almost immediately after that, mm-hmm. Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin come out. Yeah. Chad Gable goes like, "Well, we beat you, yeah. or we 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 destroyed you the other night, so we should be next in line." Back of the line. Yeah. <laughs> the uh, Usos Hype decided Rose. that all of the other tag teams were in the back of the line. Yeah. Well, yeah. The Usos uh, say they say oh chad gable you got yourself a partner there you got Mm. yourself a benjamin and then they run down all of shelton's accomplishments and then they go back of the line yeah (laughs) um and uh, who comes out the fashion police come out next mm -hmm. and then as soon as they get out there the ascension come right out yeah they don't even really get the same they don't get to say anything right so usos (laughs) run down every team and then woods is like whoa 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 Rizango's cool. <laughs> and then it was just like, okay, okay. And then uh, I guess it was it was either Jimmy or Jay. It's like, yeah, we like to fashion fox. Yeah. <laughs> and then Daniel Bryan comes out. And this was weird. Well, yeah. He he started to, to say uh, or tell everybody to get out of the ring. Well, it, because what happened was they all seemed like they were going to figure out who was going to be the, the number no, one right. contender. Mm-hmm. Then he comes down and he says, this isn't the place for that. Right. And then... He makes the match anyway. Well, he's like, you're not going to like what I have to say anyway. And then he just tells the Usos and New Day to get out of the ring. And then mm-hmm. he tells him again, mm-hmm. when I say get out of the ring, I mean get out of the ring. Yeah. And then he's like, all right, so we're going to have a fatal four-way to determine number one contender to face the Usos. And that was it. It was just yeah, it was, it, was, it was odd way to end the segment. Mm-hmm. So they cut to commercial, they come mm-hmm. back, and that's when the fatal four-way starts. Yep. Uh, this was not an elimination match. No. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't find that out after someone got eliminated. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but yeah, this was a uh, it was a fun match. Yeah. Especially considering the fact that well, they're not showcased, so we don't get to see these teams that often. Yeah, it's true. Um, well, we've been seeing Gable and Benjamin right. pretty much every week, but yeah. they're also relatively new. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, this was this was a good match. A lot. Of, uh, every team pretty much got a good showcase. No one was really unutilized. The no. Fashion Police weren't in yeah. it too much. But they didn't get in until later on in the match, right? Yeah. I'd say halfway I through. I don't think that really there was much offense on their end to begin with. No. But. I mean, every time there was a, a pin attempt, every everybody from the teams not in the ring would come and break yep. up the... Uh, it, it just kind of made 
made it seem like the match was actually worth something, you know? Well, yeah, because they were actually trying. Yeah. yeah. yeah the crowd seemed... was getting into it, too. Mm-hmm. So And it seemed like all the competitors were mm-hmm. invested. Yeah. So it was good. Yeah, which when Daniel Bryan came out and said that this isn't time or place with it, the crowd was doing the no chant. Yeah, they were so, not happy nah. with it. So maybe he changed his mind at the last second yeah. or yeah. probably not. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, inevitably, uh, Gable and Benjamin win with their tandem po- power bomb deal, blockbuster combo, whatever yeah. it was. Um, and it looked a little rough for Breeze because it kind of looked like he yeah, landed on Breeze his neck. went right down. But yeah, he gets pinned very decisively. Yeah, not not a surprise here. We kind of had oh, yeah. a feeling that Gable and Benjamin were yeah, they've been building him up. Yeah. So yeah, it's not a not a shock. Yeah, I mean, I, I would wouldn't be surprised. It, somewhere in the future that these two do split up and go their separate ways yeah but it wouldn't be like a it would just be like an amicable probably i mean it would be a good feud too but well yeah but i don't know how i don't know if they would go that direction i don't know because usually it's not necessarily faces oh i guess faces yeah one turns on the other yeah but it's neither here nor there no that's not gonna be for a while (laughs) yeah that happens um so up next uh, they cut to the backstage, and mm-hmm. Dasha's sitting outside of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn's dressing room. Yes, apparently they have their own now. Yeah, they share. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, she's like, we want to get a word with the victorious Kevin Owens, but... <laughs> we were told to wait outside, yeah. or whatever. <laughs> and uh, so, that was it. Yeah, and then we go, uh, well, still backstage, and yeah. uh, Natalia's hugging her title, and then all of a sudden Lana and Tamina come in, and, you know... <laughs> Natty says, oh, doesn't this title look great? And then Lana says, yeah, but it'll look much better around Tamina. Mm -hmm. And then Carmella comes in and goes, I'm in the best spot, though. And she starts tapping her briefcase. Yep. And then Natalia goes, well, let's get all on the same page. We we all agree that any of us would make a better champion than Charlotte. Mm -hmm. And then Charlotte walks up Mm -hmm. and then just hits her. Well, no, Natty said, "Uh, um, what are you here to break your... or?" break your father's heart again or something like that or cause him a heart whatever she said Mm -hmm. and then uh that's when charlotte just uh lays into her yeah and then becky came in and i don't know was naomi there too naomi came in too and then they all started fighting Mm -hmm. and then uh it gets broken up yep and then um i guess we're still backstage here (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I think right after that segment, they had put up a graphic saying that Becky and Carmella were fighting. Mm. That's right. Um, and then the, another backstage segment, like yeah. you said, it's Renee Young interviewing Baron Corbin, mm-hmm. asking him about his one-on-one title match against AJ. AJ, yep. and he's saying that the odds are better tonight than they were last night mm-hmm. because it's 50-50 now, yep. and he seems confident that he is going yeah. to win. It shoves his win last night, shoving it in the face of all the keyboard warriors because we know he can't stay off Twitter. It's true. He can't help himself. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm glad they put the title around him. Well, yeah, because it's, it's, show, it, it gives him more of a spotlight, and it, because he acts like a champion. Well, it was really the, the perfect way to, because I, I mean, maybe everything was going to his head, so mm-hmm. this was the perfect way to knock him down and say, hey, you got to earn this. Oh, you mean instead of getting yeah, the world he, title? Cr- yeah, when he failed to cash in the money in the bank. and then, Yeah. Because, um, like I said, we've, he's been putting on good matches. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, his match at Hell in a Cell was great. Yeah. So. A very, very, uh, mm-hmm. certainly c- come a long way. Yeah. And then we had that match between Carmella and Becky next. Yes. Which, this was a pretty quick match. Mm-hmm. Um, Carmella had very little offense. I think yeah. there's just one spot outside the ring where uh, Carmella hid behind Ellsworth, and as Becky was going to attack her, uh, Carmella hit Becky through the legs of uh, Ellsworth. Yeah, she kicked her. Yeah. This was pretty cool, though. Yeah, it, it was, was a good different. spot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, inevitably, uh, Becky wins with the disarmer, which yeah. isn't a huge surprise. Nope. Um, not a whole lot of meaning behind this match. So it's no. kind of weird. No. I think it was probably more of, okay, we don't want to progress the title picture, so mm-hmm. let's put on a random match. Yeah. And I guess they've been feeling more confident with Carmella. I guess. Or, yeah, or, she's been given a, more of a... Yeah. Or they just role. want her to have more exposure. And since experience, she, probably. And she's, because she's the money in the bank holder, mm-hmm. so this way it kind of at least somewhat makes sense to have her on TV. Right. No, 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 absolutely. Um, 
So instead of just in backstage segments, going, mm-hmm. I have this. Yeah. So. Um, then uh, up next we had uh, Kevin Owens coming out. Yes. And uh, he basically said that he did exactly what he was said he was going to do at Hell in a Cell. Mm-hmm. And uh, so apparently when he was laying on the announce table, mm-hmm. I guess while Shane was climbing up to the top, right? I guess well, yeah, that... it was when Shane was trying to hit the elbow. Yeah, he had an out-of-body experience, and he uh, ascended into uh, yeah into heaven and was outside of the uh, pearly gates and uh, waiting in line, which he does not like to do, apparently. Yeah, that's what he said. And uh, what did he say? He, he cut in line. Right, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> And uh, when he got up there, uh, what is it, St. Peter, right? Yeah. He said that, uh, no, you need to be on Earth. I'm going to send a guardian angel, right? Yep. He was provided with a guardian angel named Sami Zayn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Certainly an interesting take yeah. on the situation. Mm-hmm. So at this point, I guess this is when he introduces Sami Zayn mm-hmm. as his best friend. Yep. His and, best friend, Sami yeah. Zayn. And then uh, Sami came out and... Owens thanked him for what he did, mm-hmm. and then uh, Sammy cut a, little, a nice promo. He was actually given some time on the microphone. Yeah, he seemed pretty confident, and uh, well, it's a lot easier to do stuff like that. Yeah, it, it was probably a breath of fresh air for him, to yeah. be honest. It's because it's he's got conviction, and mm-hmm. and it's again heels making good, good points. points. That's it. Um, but he was saying he was tired of being overlooked and disrespected mm-hmm. by Shane. Right. Because he he got him to come over to SmackDown Live during the super superstar shakeup, saying that you weren't being treated correctly on Raw, and how Which Sammy agreed with yeah, but. <laughs> and, and how SmackDown Live is the land of opportunity and he'll get what he deserves mm-hmm. and stuff like that. But um, it uh, when he was talking to Shane a couple weeks ago about that he shouldn't do it or should watch out for Kevin Owens, he completely disregarded him showing him mm-hmm. a lot of disrespect right. yeah and, and then, that's the point where he realized that shane didn't care about him right and then he said when shane was up top and looking down at kevin owens he wanted to end him basically mm-hmm. meaning he had no disregard or he had a disregard for kevin mm-hmm. so he, uh, so he saw the uh, opportunity. shane for mm-hmm. what he was yep so at that point he ran out to the ring and tried to save uh Owens, his best friend, Kevin. His Owens. new best friend, mm-hmm. or his, I guess, best friend. Yeah, and then uh, Sammy thanks Kevin for everything, and mm-hmm. then they have this little awkward uh, going back and forth of raising each other's hands. Yeah, like, and then they hug each other. Yeah, and then they hug some more, mm-hmm. and then that's it. Yeah, I don't know uh, where they're going with this. Yeah, I'm but, sure. Well, well, I mean, like storyline progression I don't, I don't know if shane's gonna come back yeah that's what i mean i don't know if this is gonna continue or not owens did say that shane, shane was is gone. gone yeah i don't know what that means for sure mm. so um it could be that he's gonna be off tv for a while like stephanie was mm-hmm. or is technically um so it could just be daniel bryan for a while and this way they can start a new storyline with the two of them yeah and do something fresh yeah. Instead of continuing this, well, they're pretty heel heavy on SmackDown, aren't they? Singles wise. Well, I guess you I have yeah. Jinder, Orton, AJ. I said it again. Yeah, Shinsuke. I was gonna say <laughs> you're not naming consistently. Uh, Shinsuke, Orton, AJ. Those are your top faces, right? Well, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they it, they they could be. Maybe uh, maybe they're gonna be the. The first opponents for the team that kind of got debuted last... Uh, I guess, but aren't they going to be heels? They could not be. I guess. It doesn't matter. Or, this is like a uh, like a strange turn where Kevin sees the light and they're instead of both, him being like a full heel, they're mm-hmm. both tweeners and they jump back and forth. I guess that's possible. It'd be interesting. Uh, because Kevin Owens had a, a significantly less vicious... Mm-hmm. outlook yeah he did he saw the light yeah so <laughs> it 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 seemed like sammy Zane wasn't being a bad guy yeah he, it's just he wisened up so anything's possible it's true yeah. good storytelling yeah let's see where it goes exactly um up next we had the tag match that i think they talked about earlier yeah in they the had show. announced it earlier um, in the it was show. orton and shinsuke versus rusev and aiden english mm-hmm. uh not a real surprise on who the winner was here. Nah. Uh, the heels did dominate the majority of the match. Um, yeah. They isolated Orton. 
quick tags working outside the ring. Mm -hmm. Um, but eventually Orton hit Rusev with an RKO set up Shinsuke to hit the Kinshasa on English and Shinsuke pins English for the win. Yep. So like you said, not surprising. No. Um, and you know, who knows? I, it doesn't really seem like they have a direction, but the, well, I, I feel like this is the, okay, we got time until the survivor right, series. Right, so yeah. let's, Let's work with what we had leaving Hell in a Cell mm -hmm. and then set up the new storylines moving into Survivor Series well, this in a was few weeks. What? Road? Was it Road? What was the pay-per-view after? Uh, Fastlane, right? Or was that a Raw pay-per-view? Fastlane was the Raw pay-per-view. All right. What was SmackDown's pay-per-view after the Rumble? It was like Elimination a Chamber was two it weeks later. Two, two weeks later? Okay. Yeah. It was from Elimination Chamber to WrestleMania, right? They had all that time, mm -hmm. too. Yeah. So. And then they had a long time between SummerSlam. And no, no. Um, WrestleMania and Backlash. That was a long time between yeah. those two. So SmackDown has really kind of suffered from mm -hmm. the way they schedule. Right. And especially when you have a limited roster. It hurts. The yeah, because Raw's been the first one after every big four. Which really isn't a surprise. No, but at the same time, it's an odd choice. Yeah. Um, um, all right. So yeah. up next, we have uh, AJ Styles interview. Um, he says, even though the Baron Corbin win won, he didn't beat me. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to show him that I'm still the best. Yep. And, uh, he's going to say that, or he says that Baron has made mistakes in the past, like not mm -hmm. being able to cash in successfully the yep. money in the bank briefcase and that he's going to make a mistake tonight. Pretty much. And today, tonight will be the end of days for Baron Corbin's title reign. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Not much... Not much else to say about They're that. They're both very confident. And then we get a promo for a new tag team. That's not really new. Yeah, it's not a new tag but, team. Uh, so means. apparently we know what uh, Harper and Rowan are doing now. They're being repackaged. Yes, as the Bludgeon Brothers. Even though they kept the names, yeah. which obviously makes sense, certainly nowadays. Because yep. people aren't as, as uh, naive as they used to be, where you can get compl the same exact person just with a different name. Well... They did not go from the SmackDown universe to the Raw universe either. Just like Jinder Mahal was a jobber on the Raw universe. That's, but that's the champion. same person. Yeah. S same character, same but, name. Yeah, but what do you mean? I'm talking about when they change. Oh, but they didn't change. No, I'm saying when, like in the 90s. Oh, I gotcha. Like when they would have the, that person mm -hmm. looks exactly the same. Oh, and then change just, just character? Just, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, okay. that can't really happen gotcha. anymore. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I, I gotcha. wasn't talking about like who they are mm -hmm. as wrestlers. Okay. They they change the way that people are booked constantly. Yeah. No, I know. But so usually when you move from one show to the other, everything's kind of wiped clean. Mm. Bray wasn't the case. Sister Abigail's back. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, moving yeah. on. Yeah, I can't argue that. One. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Then we have this weird, awkward, aw yeah, promo between Bobby Roode and Mr. Ziggles. Mm -hmm. uh, so Bobby Roode comes out and says that his per first pay-per-view match was glorious. Until he gets attacked right after the end of the match. Yep. And uh, she says, Ziggler, if you want to fight, let's mm -hmm. fight. Yep. So Ziggler comes out. His music plays, and then it the does the recording, or the re yeah. record stop. So, yeah. And then it's dark mm -hmm. and without sound. Yep. And, and then Mr. Ziggles, he, uh, sh he meanders to the top of the entrance ramp. Yep. Um, he says that he exposed Bobby as the fraud that he is. Mm -hmm. Because he needed to cheat to win. Mm -hmm. And then Bobby mm -hmm. says that he's just smarter than Dolph Ziggler. Yep. And then at that point, Ziggler claims that not only is he the best wrestler in in He's WWE the smartest history. man alive, right? Yes. <laughs> so, very confident, Mr. Ziggles. And then Dolph says that he wants a rematch, and he tells Bobby to name any time and place. And so Bobby says, right here, right now. And then Ziggler goes, you want to do it right now? You want to do it right here? And starts walking to the ring, constantly saying the same thing over and over again. And he mm -hmm. goes, nope. And then basically turns around and walks to the back. And that, that was it. And it was funny because as he was walking around the, the ring, the ref ran to the <laughs> ring too. So I guess he wasn't informed what was going to happen. No. 
So, yeah, it was pretty. That part was pretty fun. Maybe they were watching the time, and maybe if they had enough time, they were going to squeak a quick match in there. That's possible, but that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Look. I don't know, man. Um, anyway. Yeah. So, we're going to continue with the Dolph Ziggler and Bobby Roode storyline. Yeah, I mean. I guess without the uh, gimmick story part of it so much. I guess. Hopefully, because that was kind of getting old. Well, I mean, that's all they built the whole story. Well, now, now there's a reason for them to be fighting, though. Whereas the gimmick thing was the reason. I guess. But just the fact that Bobby's a cheater. Apparently. Yes, basically. Yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, hopefully their matches get better. Oh. So, that's all that really matters. Because <sighs> if the wrestling's good, you can't really complain about too much else. Yeah, that's true. So. Well, you can still complain. Well, I know, but it's a lot easier to get, especially with a feud like this. Right. Because this isn't really a consequential feud. No, absolutely not. So this, is just a, this is this is a okay. Bobby right. still knew we don't know what to do with him. Let's mm-hmm. put him with Dolph like we do everybody else. Yep, pretty much. It's <laughs> almost exactly what happens, actually. Yeah, yeah. Because what? Are Corbin, Shinsuke, Rude. Who else was with? Him? There's probably been yeah. countless people over the last few years. Yeah. So, but those are just the most recent ones, right? Well, those are the biggest NXT ones coming up. Mm-hmm. That he was with. Went to SmackDown, yeah. Yep. And that brought us right to our main event, yep. which was a, a U.S. title match between def- our defending champion, Baron Corbin, versus AJ Styles. Yes. Neither of which got their own entrances. Yeah, we came back from commercial, commercial and AJ was making his way into the ring, mm-hmm. as Corbin was already in the ring. Yep. Weird stuff. Odd. Yep. Um. um this match was decent, as oh, yeah. usual, usual between the two of these guys. Well, um, yeah, any AJ match is usually pretty good. Yeah, um, but Corbin seems to work well with him. Mm-hmm. Um, Corbin showing his power as usual. Yeah. AJ using his speed. Mm-hmm. But uh, it seems like Corbin has smartened up a little bit. Oh, yeah, there was uh, it's two spots. Uh, AJ in the corner where he usually dives through his opponent's leg and squeaks through. Mm-hmm. Um, Corbin actually cut him off and choked him yeah and then aj went to flip him over to put him in the calf crusher but corbin grabbed the rope so he couldn't be flipped over so he's learning he's learning yeah and at that point when he was holding onto the ropes aj shoves him into the the, uh, the ring, ring post, post yep which was pretty cool yeah so and then i think uh the action spilled to the outside mm-hmm. and corbin threw aj off the apron right onto the ground that's when he landed on his shoulder didn't he or were they down on the floor that must have been down on the Maybe floor. Maybe on the floor. Okay, so action went back into the ring. Corbin set up for the end of days, hit it, and won. Yep. Clean. Mm-hmm. That was a little bit of a surprise. It was a shocker. But I think this was meant to be a clean break for AJ. Absolutely. Um, this way, uh, Corbin can immediately go into another feud, mm-hmm. and AJ can hopefully go into the world title where, picture. Where do you go with Corbin? Um, Ty. You think? Mm-hmm. Why not? I guess it could. Yeah. Ty can say, I've beaten you before. Right. So even if he did get pinned, there's no reason why he can't do it. That's true. So, or it could be nothing and they restart everything after Survivor Series. Yeah. Oh, you could just have that time period. Like, yeah. They could true. be building whatever they end up building to. Because I don't think anything's going to start up until officially until TLC after. Is over. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so we did not have. Uh, the WWE champion, Jinder Mahal, on SmackDown this week, which yeah. is very strange because we've had him in some sort of capacity. It's pretty much week. just awkward promos. Yeah. But I think this is kind of them saying, okay, we're not this is doing the Shinsuke right. thing anymore. Yeah. And so I'm okay with it because you know, his promo has just been very samey and very mm-hmm. boring. So not much depth. To I, the I'd character. much rather them fill the time with the tag team divisions than have him waste right. 15 minutes talking mm-hmm. about nothing. Yeah, now is your time to really get the women's division going and the tag team division, which we saw tonight. Mm-hmm. And you can do little stories here and there. Exactly. But nothing major needs to be done. Mm-hmm. So, but I mean, if they can throw together a show like this every week where it's serviceable, you know? Yeah. Well, it seems like there's a more priority on the the lower card stuff mm-hmm. so which is important obviously because that's what the ma- the majority of your show is right so and it's not all about the main event no. even though it seems like they try to book it that way sometimes yeah <laughs> so yep but yeah it was uh 
It's a pretty good show. It was uh, serviceable. Yeah. yeah, coming off of Hell in a Cell, mm-hmm. it couldn't expect much, much better. Cause... No, and I'm sure some people are banged and bruised up. So, mm-hmm. oh yeah, a lot, a lot of people for the most part, or a lot of times, they'll come off of a strong pay per view with a okay TV. Yeah. So, um, I think that this is probably the best we were gonna get. They did things they normally don't do, yes. like the tag team division, right? Um, and so yeah. Yeah. Um, no fashion files though. That's which we not were told a big deal because they were actually wrestling. Yeah, that's which true. is not because usually it's if there's no fashion files, they're not on TV mm-hmm. at all. So at least they were on. We in got a, them in some sort of capacity. capacity. Yeah, exactly. So that's a plus. So, but, but yeah. yeah, got a long road ahead of us. It's true. But uh, yeah, so that was our SmackDown review. If you liked what you saw here, please like, share, and subscribe. Bye. Bye.